Hi, I'm Jim McCormick, Head of Desk Strategy at NatWest Markets. It is that time of year where the team and I start thinking about the big themes that will dominate in the next year. And with that in mind, what I thought I'd do this month is to cover three common questions that always come up around our year ahead process. First question is where do we differ from consensus? It's not always the case, but I think this year we have quite a few differences, five of which I'll mention. Firstly, we're less negative on Europe. It's not that hard to be, given how negative the consensus is, but it also reflects a view that political risks are declining and European growth will turn out better. We're less positive on the U.S., particularly when you factor in a U.S. presidential election that's going to be a very tight race and probably hurt business sentiment. On the UK, we probably agree with most in the market that the economy and markets will start the year out positively, but we're a bit more worried about what happens afterwards. We're a little more pessimistic about the outcome of the US-China trade discussions, particularly, again, if you factor in the impact China will have on the US presidential election debate. And then finally, on markets, we have many differences, but three worth mentioning. We're more constructive on emerging markets. We're more constructive on Italian bonds, and we are more constructive on inflation markets. A second common question is where are the valuation gaps? Once again, we see plenty, of which I'll talk about five. So firstly, in currencies, the big story is really the dollar is getting very expensive. European currencies are very cheap. That's been the case for a long time, but we think the narrative is changing enough next year that perhaps that trend changes. In fixed income, fixed income started last year quite expensive. It got even more so this year. That's particularly true in Europe, especially in European credit. Italian bonds are probably the cheapest fixed income product in the region, even with some of the fundamental concerns. In equities, valuations are mixed. But I think the real story there is that the U.S. equity market is getting more and more expensive, both in relative and absolute terms. And finally, for 2020, we still see good value in emerging markets, but perhaps a little bit less in emerging market local bonds because of the stellar performance that we saw in 2019. The final question is whether or not there's a big theme in 2020. We think there is. We think the policy mix is changing away from a reliance on central banks like the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank and more toward government spending, i.e. fiscal, particularly in Europe, especially in Germany. It's an interesting time to call that because 2019, we saw another year where central banks dominated. They eased a lot, and as a result of that, every asset class we track was positive on the year. But things are changing. Central banks are running out of ammunition. That's especially true in Europe. More importantly, if you look at the impact of this monetary policy, we've seen very little by way of inflation and quite a lot by way of asset market distortion. The policy mix, mix needs to change. We think it will move away from monetary policy. We think it will move toward fiscal policy. And the impact on financial markets will be quite significant. That's it for this month. Please have a look at our 2020 year ahead on both our podcast and on our website. Thanks again.